This is a short demonstration of a tool that we're using a Bluetooth caliper. This is a Silvac Bluetooth caliper. In addition, we're going to use this kit sold by Silvac called Sil Connect. Inside of this box, there's a little dongle key which we're going to plug into the side of the laptop computer here. That will allow us to do a Bluetooth connection. Additionally, there is software that you can either purchase or you can find as freeware. This particular one is called VMUX Lite. The actual licensed VMUX uh, software will allow for multiple Bluetooth connections or multiple devices. This one will only allow one device. So if I, if I open this up here, give me a second to uh, just get the cursor on it, open it up. You'll see that this is just a simple little piece of software. Assuming it opens up here. Sorry, we're uh, having a little bit of a focus issue here at the moment. Get us back here. Okay, so this is the actual software here, and if I if I open up this little tab here that says settings, this opens up a lot more information here. So what you could see right now, this is listed as red, channel one, etc. What we want to do is to um, scan for the um, Bluetooth connection. So first off, I'm going to come back down here to this device, and if I click the mode key here a couple of times, you'll see it's a set, unit, pre, BT is Bluetooth, and we're going to set it so that it's on and then we click this little key here and then the Bluetooth is active and you can see up in the top corner here's a little Bluetooth symbol is active on the display. Now we come back up here to our software which of course has come a little bit out of focus. Zoom in here and there's a little thing here that says Bluetooth scan, BT scan. So we're going to scan for it. Oh look at that, it's already actually shown up in here. Uh, so you can see we're listed as green here, the first device is listed as green. So the Bluetooth is now active. So what we want to do next is to find our, uh, our piece of software that we're going to run with this. So we have in here a, um, a, uh, an Excel file which we're going to use in conjunction with this. And so what I did here was I clicked export and then up here it says export in file. Let me come out just a little bit here. I know this is strobing a little because we're using a camera to do this. But you can see here I've listed a file in here that I call Silvac Test Caliper. And all I'm going to do is just say OK. You could browse for a file. And so I say OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up the Excel file now that we're going to use in conjunction with this Bluetooth software. So let me get this so it's not strobing so bad again here. So you can see here now I have a cell lined up here and really all I have to do now is take a measurement of something. So if I, if I say measure the, uh, this, this little piece right here and click on this, this yellow tab at the top here it will store the reading in the Excel spreadsheet. Um, so, of course, it did not cooperate. Let's see if we can get this to work. The green screen behind you, boy. Yeah, that didn't help. Okay, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the Bluetooth woke up and it saved every reading there all at once. So now it should actually cooperate with each reading. You can see it; it just adds one each time. So there's the readings we're taking with the Bluetooth each time I click it along. Um, so, so that's pretty basic, pretty simple. Now, aside from this little test that we had here, I have created a, another um, Excel file, which I will show to you momentarily. 
Okay, so we're we're back. I have loaded up another program, another Excel file here, which I call SBC Ball Bearings Rev One. A simple Excel spreadsheet program. Um, in this case, I have two tabs uh, down here at the bottom: Sheet One, Sheet Two. Sheet One I'm using as just um, entry from the Bluetooth caliper, just like we were doing before. Now in this case on sheet two, I actually have a little SPC demo here. So what we have here in the left column is what we call the in-control data. We have essentially measured a number of ball bearings in a series here. And so we have in here some real data. At the bottom here, we've calculated the mean of all of those, or the average of those parts that we measured, ball bearings, and then we have calculated standard deviation. So we are at three standard deviations from our mean, and so we have a standard deviation of 0 .00176 there. And so what we have calculated is the difference from the mean of three standard deviations up and three standard deviations down, and we call those our upper control limit and our lower control limit. And we have taken the time here graphically to, I'm sorry, this is a little jittery for you here, graphically to show you those control limits as we plotted on this chart here. So we, we did nothing other than create a graph using Excel, and we plotted our control limits as those upper control limit and lower control limit, and there they are listed, and the mean. And then every piece of data we take in this new data set right here is being plotted right up the center here along with the original in-control data. So the in-control data is series one, and the subsequent new data is in red here on this chart. So as long as the data shows that it is within these control limits, we're saying that our process is in control. We don't see any trends going one way or the other. For instance, if you, you were starting to have a problem, you might trend upward and outside of your control limit or down below your lower control limit. So that's basically it. It's fairly simple. It just uses this Bluetooth device, this Sil Connect Bluetooth um, dongle here. You could do it as a wired application where you wire your measurement tool to the USB port of the computer and you could capture the data just like we did here and create your own little SBC either using Excel, which is probably a little clunkier than a packaged piece of software which would make this a lot easier for you because it could can't, um, calculate the standard deviations and set your control limits a bit faster. But hey for you know next to nothing we, we've done this SBC demonstration here. I hope that works for you.